Hi everyone, welcome to Balance Online. So today I'm going to take you through a Pilates interval class. So we're going to work in intervals of one minute duration and we are going to do four exercises. So we're going to do one minute um, each exercise, then we'll have a little bit of a rest, then we'll repeat that. So we're just going to do two sets of um, each of those four exercises. So let's, before we start, start to think about our posture. So we're just going to have a little bit of time just thinking about lifting up, rolling the shoulders down. We're going to do a bit of a warm up. And then I want you just to start to have a little bit of a rock forwards and back. So we're coming into the toes, back into the heels, a little forwards and back rock, and just try and settle in that neutral position. Just hands to the hips, a little bit of a pelvic tilt, forwards and back. So let's try and find our midpoint between our A forwards and our C back. And let's try and look for that point B and try and settle here. Hands to the ribs, let's practice our lateral breathing. So we're breathing in and out. Breath in and out. What I'm hoping you feel is an expansion in your rib cage and a relaxation as you take the breath out. Breath in and breath out. So just by having your hands to the side of your ribs, that should make you more aware of where the breath is actually going. We want the breath to go into the, out into the rib cage. That's how you should be breathing. It takes a little bit of practice, but please don't worry as long as you're breathing, it doesn't matter. Bring your arms down. Now start to lift and pull up through those pelvic muscles. So really squeezing and lifting those muscles and then just releasing out to 30%. The abdominals, let's pull the belly button in as far as we can, then releasing it out to about 30%. So we're still keeping engagement. Let's have a little bit of mobilization before we start. So we're gonna to start to rotate. Just simple head rotations from side to side. Just spending a little bit of time just mobilizing through the body. Coming back and lowering the ear down. And again. So as you're dropping the ear down, keep the other shoulder down. So we're keeping shoulders down. And then we're bringing chin down towards the chest. Lift and again, coming down. So notice as the chin comes down, we create length into the spine. If we bring the chin down, just start to roll the chin. We should be getting a lovely stretch going on into the top of the spine. So again, that roll up along the chest. Come back and lift. Let's have a lovely shrug of the shoulders. So it's that lift and it's that lower. Rotate. So really squeezing shoulders together. And reverse. So we're going to come forwards. And then just bringing the hands just on across the chest. We're going to go for a little rotation. The spinal rotation. Try to keep the hips still. Still be moving the hips as you're taking the rotation. Keep those hips facing forwards. Bring the arms down and let's take a lovely side lean. So we get a lovely stretch just through the side of the body. Bring the arm over and again just lengthening. Arms to the side, reach. So imagine that someone is just pulling the hand each side. One more to each side. Then come back, just take the arms across the chest. Then squat down. Again, just watching where the knees are going. Knees should be going over the second toe. 
And again, just watching, there's no locking of the knees as you're coming back up. Two more. One more. Just coming up onto the toes, we take a little calf raise. Lifting the arms up. Two more. Well done. Okay, let's come down onto the mat. Let me show you the exercise that we're going to do first of all. So, we start off seated, feet flat to your mat, the arms are forwards. We're going to come a lovely reach forwards and a reach back. That's exercise number one. Number two, we steer back and we have a lift and a lower of those arms. Number three, we go into our bow and arrow, palm to palm, elbow comes back, let the head follow the, where the arm is going back. That's your exercise number three. Number four, come back to sit bones, take the arms and we're just going to have a little side to side rotation, working into the side of the tummy. Those are your four exercises, we have one minute duration with a 10 second rest so you can prepare yourself for the next exercise. Are we ready to go with this? Exercise number one, let's go. So again, it's up to you how far back you want to go, remembering you've got to lift yourself back up again. Draw the belly in. Breathing in, breathing out. Again, be mindful of what's happening with the legs here. Watch the knees. It's very tempting to start opening the knees. Keep the ankles, knees and hips in alignment all the time. So don't be allowing the knees to either knock in or open out to the sides. Reaching. Again, the exercise we're not rushing. It's a controlled exercise. Thinking about the posture. And just release here. You've got 10 seconds. Then we're gonna come back onto our sitting bones. Tuck the pelvis under. And we have a lift and a lower of those arms. Again, we're not rushing. Control your lift and your lower. If you do need to rest at any point, then please feel free. A minute is quite a long time. You might feel this into the hips. So again, control. Well done, have that 10 second rest. We go into our bow and arrow. We start with the palms together, eyes forwards, and then breath out and lift. Control. Well done, and rest. So let's have another, we're going straight on to the first exercise, arms forwards. We're going back to that reach, 
back. Control. Again, just be mindful of what's happening with those knees. Breathing in, breath out. And relax, release, 10 seconds. We come back onto our sitting bones and we have that lift and lower. So coming back about arm's length, tuck the tailbone under and just lift. So again, it's that control. Bring the biceps up to the side of my ears. I'm really thinking about keeping my abdominals engaged. Nice and controlled. Lift. Well done. We go into that bow and arrow. We start off with palm to palm, sitting in the upright position. And then we come back, drawing the elbow back and lift. So I'm taking my breath out as my elbow comes back. Nice and controlled. Last one, release and lift. So again, last exercise for this set, we're coming back onto sitting bones, take the arms over. And just go side to side. about halfway on this last set. Well done. Release here if you want to give your legs a bit of a shake and a bit of a rub, then please feel free. So while you're having a little rest, I'm just gonna go through the next set of exercises. So again, we're coming onto all fours, the wrists under the shoulders, the knees under the hips. We start off with our thread the needle, so I'm gonna give you two options. Option one, the hand to the side of the head, the elbow comes under, and then we extend up. If you prefer, you can take the arm all the way under 
and then extend here. Again, we're going to do the same on the other side. And then we're going to come down onto our mat, single leg stretch, the one hand on the outer knee, the inner ankle, other leg extends, head and shoulders option to lift or to lead down, and we switch between the two. Number three, and uh, number four, sorry, the hands to the side, the ankles. We lengthen, the arms come around, we bring ourselves up into a tight ball. Again, option to leave head down if you prefer. Are we ready? So again, that first, thread the needle, hand to the side of the head if you prefer. Or coming all the way under. And lift. So if you do have any shoulder issues, you actually might prefer to stick with this one where you just take the elbow under. So again, you've got to do what feels right for you. Try and bring that shoulder back. Coming under. and release down. So exactly the same on the other side. So again, remembering if you want to place the hand to the side of the head, if you do have any shoulder issues, that might be one that you prefer. So again, choose what's right for you. Again, control the exercise. It's not a rushed. Control it. And release. We're going to come over down onto the mat for our single leg stretch. So remember one hand to the opposite outside the knee, the inner ankle, leg extends, head and shoulders are lifted or they're lowered. Up to you. See what feels right for you. Breathing in and out. Control. Make sure that leg is lengthened. So again, if you want to pop the head down, then you can. Well done. Into double leg stretch. The hands start out to the side of the ankles. Extend, bring the arms around. Come up that little tight squeeze. Breath in, breath out. Lengthen, sweep around and squeeze. Again, if lifting the head isn't good for you, then just keep that head down. Make the movement a little bit smaller.
Well done. Let's go right from the beginning. Going back to thread the needle, so either in this position or the hands to the side of the head. Draw the belly under, let's go. So again, it's not about quantity of the exercise, it's more about the quality of the exercise that we're doing here. Breath in, breath out. And release, well done. Exactly the same on the other side. Starting position, knees under the hips, wrists under the shoulders. Come under, exhale to Done. Bring that hand down, come over onto your backs into our single leg stretch. Nice and controlled. Bring those knees in, hand to outer knee in an ankle and switch. The head is lifted or lowered down to the mat, see how you feel. Breath in and breath out. Nice and controlled movements. Fully lengthen the leg. Rest, well done. Double leg stretch, hands to the side of the legs, a lengthening, a sweep of the arms into that hug. Control. Breath in, breath out. Really giving yourself a lovely hug, little squeeze. Well done. Gently bring yourself up, have a minute rest. We are gonna move on to the last set. So we're gonna work on lower back and full body. So from here, if I go through the exercises, 
Exercise number one, we rest down onto the mat, the head rests on the hands. We have a lovely extension, a lift and a lower, that's your first exercise. Number two, we add to this. So we lift, we rotate, centre, we lower down, lift, rotate, come back and down. Number three, bringing the hands just underneath the shoulders, we lift all the way up to extension and then we slowly bring ourselves down. Number four, arms and extension, legs, opposite arm, opposite leg into those swimmers and we can start to take it as slow or as fast as you prefer. See how you feel. So let's go with exercise number one. The head rests on the hands, the legs slightly parted. And again, it's very controlled. We're not going with any force. We're just lifting nice and gently and lowering. Lift and lower. So nice and controlled. Keep the head super glued to the hands. Now, if you find this is too much for you, leave the hands down on the mat and just lift the head away from the hands. So that's your easier option if that suits you better. If you prefer that to lifting those hands as well. Again, it's really controlled. And remembering it's really important to work not only the abdominal, but to work all the muscles in the back as well. I'm just controlling. And rest, well done. So now we're gonna add the rotation if you want to. You don't just stick with that first one. So we lift, rotate, centre, come back down. Lift, rotation, centre and lower. Again, we're not rushing, controlling every movement. At any point, please feel free to rest. Rest down, well done. So next, exercise, bring the hands just underneath the shoulders. If you want to go a little wider with the hands, please feel free. Legs parted, squeeze the bottom, lift, lower. Breath out. Now keep the hips down on the mat when you're lifting. Again, we're not rushing this, it's controlled. Squeezing the glutes as you're lifting back up. Remember to keep the shoulders well away from the ears. So draw the shoulders down and back. Keep that gap between your ears and your shoulders. They should not be anywhere near. Again, that breath out. And coming down, lifting up. Well done, have a 10 second rest. We go into our swimmers. So again, remembering with your swimmers, you can take this as fast or as slow as you wish. So let's start off slow. So we lift one arm, we lift the opposite leg. And this might be enough for you. This might be where you really wanna be with this exercise. However, if you do want to work a little harder, then you start to pick up the pace. Breathing in and breathing out, we're not holding our breath.
and try and go with this for as long as you can. And once you've had enough, then rest. This is working your full body. It's not an easy exercise. And rest, well done. We are of course going to do one last round of all these exercises. So we're gonna go back to lower back. So again, option one is just to lift the head away from the hands. Option two is to lift the hands alongside the head. And it's that breath out as you're lifting. We're taking that breath in as we lower down. It's really controlled, I'm really not rushing this at all. And you're allowed to feel your muscles working in your back. There's a difference between feeling the muscles working and getting pain. When you work your abdominals, you can feel those muscles working. It's exactly the same with the back. Rest down. I'm going to add the rotation if you wish. So lift, rotate, center, lower. Again, any point you feel that you want to rest, go for it. You've worked really hard. Well done. Bring the hands just underneath the shoulders. Squeeze the bottoms, lift. And then gently lower down. Breath out. And shoulders away from the ears, squeezing your bottom. Control that lovely lift. And that lower down. Don't rush, control. Well done, one final exercise into our swimmers. Arms extend, remember you can start off slow and you can increase the pace or you can remain um, doing it nice and slow. So I'm gonna start off slow so you can follow me. So I'm lifting one leg, one arm, alternates, switching. And then I'm just gonna to start to think about speeding up. Taking breaths in and out.
Breathing in, breathing out. Almost there now, guys. Keep with me. This is a challenging one. Well done. Bring the head down. Rest onto your mat. We are done. We're going to have a little bit of a stretch, a little bit of time to relax, to chill. Taking a few breaths. You've worked really, really hard. Well done. Let's just lift up. And just stretch out the abdominals. And if we take a little look over the shoulder, you can feel a stretch into the side of the tummy. And then if we look over the opposite shoulder, you can feel that on the other side. Come back to centre, bring yourself down, and let's just push ourselves back in to our child's pose. Always a lovely one. Just to stretch out in, we can feel our spine just having a lovely stretch a lovely stretch into the hips and a little bit of time to take a couple of breaths just to allow a little bit of chill time And if we just come to all fours, let's just take it into a cat stretch. We've worked our back really hard today as well. Stretching out, drawing the belly in, just really feeling that lovely stretch into our backs. Coming into neutral, tuck the toes underneath, push up into your down dog. Just push those heels down, lift up through the tailbone, just pushing the thighs away. And let's just walk the hands in towards the feet. I'm just going to turn around to face front. I'm just going to hang here. And then very slowly just start to roll up through the spine. And the head comes up last. We take a lovely raise of the arms. We lengthen all the way up so we feel a lovely length through the tummy. Come over to the side. And the other side. Lift up, take a lovely breath, and again. Bring your hands down and give yourself a very big clap. Well done, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Take care and see you all very soon.